I'm wearing the Dan Howell t-shirt. Deal with it. Hi guys, it's me Stephen and welcome back to the channel. A couple of months ago I made a video called Five People Everyone Sees in Town. Link at the end of the video and in the description. Cheeky plug. The few people that I spoke to about it, that actually watched it, said that they liked that style of video so I'm gonna do more. Fuck it. Now before a night out we all love a bit of pre-drinks. It's like foreplay for a night out. You could do it without but it's never as good. We all know the plan. Get as smashed as possible so you spend less in town. It's genius. But there's some people, let's call them dicks, who ruin it for everyone. Here we go, six people always ruin free drinks. Number six, the guy who ruins the drinking game. Someone suggested a drinking game. No, have I ever? We all know what kind of questions are coming up. All the questions are sexual, but it's fun. We're all having a laugh until we get to this guy. He's joined in so far, but it gets to his turn. He stutters for five minutes and then... I'm not sure. Um, never have I ever taken a picture of someone without them knowing. Guys? Guys? I no longer want to be your friend. What the fuck was that, Ryan? We all know a Ryan. I know his belt. That was the shittest joke I've ever done on this channel. No, actually, no it wasn't. There better be one hell of an anecdote to back up this question. I couldn't think of anything. Piss off, Ryan. We want to know who else at this table has done anal. Who else? Number five, the guy who turns up late. You've all been drinking for two hours when suddenly someone notices the time. Isn't Jack meant to be here by now? You've been ringing him for an hour after the time he said he'd arrive, but will he answer the phone? Of course he fucking won't. You check the time, it's 11.45. You need to set off soon when suddenly... Oh, it's only fucking Jack. Number four, the guy who doesn't bring his own alcohol. Piss off, mate. Get in the bin. We don't want you here anymore. There, there's the door. If you come to drink without bringing something to drink, you don't deserve to drink. We're all having a good time and then this dick pipes up. See you. Can I have a bit of your rum? Ah, uh, all right. Just, just have a bit, though. Oh, don't worry. I'm only going to have like, a shot, so... <coughs> Call that a shot, you George Best. That's a niche reference. Why do I keep walking this way? Number three, the guy who is constantly changing the music. You've got your playlist on, as you deserve to. It's your house. Owner picks the music. But this guy's constantly taking your phone off the speaker so that he can plug his own in and listen to a song. I've got Apple Music, mate. Just use my phone. The guy puts on some random grime tune and then stands next to the speaker like he's his personal fucking bodyguard. All right, what do you want? Then in the middle of a song, he changes it like he thinks we're gonna run out of time. You're not Martin Garrix on the decks at Creamfields, mate. You're a prick on your phone at my house. Speaking of which... Number two, the person who is constantly on their phone. Two hours into pre-drinks, everyone's pissed, but there's one guy who won't put his phone down. It's like his phone is the holy grail or something because it never leaves his hand. Checking his phone after every sip of a drink like he's expecting to get a notification saying World War 3 is about to kick. Uh, that's a bad example. I understand checking your phone if you get a notification by all means, but it's rude as hell having a conversation like... Yeah, I agree with Stormzy, she is definitely a pagan. Matt. Matt. Matt! Oh, the goddamn finger lift. Never give me the finger, Matt. Never give me the finger. I shouldn't say that. And finally, number one, the guy who is constantly complaining about the music. This guy's different to number three, but it's definitely the person who is guaranteed to ruin my free drinks. He'll just make little comments. Oh, I remember this song from years ago. Do you want a song on? But, oh, no, no, that's, that's not what I meant. Fuck off, that's exactly what you meant. Then he'll leave it a bit, and despite the fact it's your house and you've let people put whatever music they want on all night using your phone, he'll just subtly say, Hey, have you heard the suddenly popular artist's new album? No. It's really good. Do you want me to put it on? No, no, this is fine. Oh, oh, you are a little prick. Just ask for a goddamn song. I can literally put on any song you want if it's on Apple Music. Add it to up next so it doesn't ruin the playlist and you're just subtly slagging off the music that I like instead of actually asking for something. Just the worst person. That's the end of this week's video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave me a like down below because it really helps me out. The last video got over 30 likes, which for me is a goddamn miracle, so anything like that will be greatly appreciated. There's plenty more people who ruin pre drinks and I could easily make a part two to this, so let me know in the comments if that's something that you want, and also let me know in the comments if there's any specific people that I missed out that really annoy you when you're at pre drinks. 
You can click this circle in the middle of the screen to go subscribe to my channel, remember to click on my bell to be told when I make a new video. You can click this box on the left of the screen to go see my most recent upload, and you can click the one on the right of the screen to go see my five people that everyone sees in a night out video that I mentioned earlier on. I'll see you next week with another video, probably.